In this video, we are going to talk about a very common instrument found in the industry today, the pressure gauge. It would be difficult to walk through any industrial or food processing plant or manufacturing facility without seeing a pressure gauge of some type. The variations in pressure gauges are dependent on where the gauge will be used with different sizes, styles and materials designed to fit specific applications. There are several ways pressure gauges are categorized and defined including by usage, media and the method used to measure pressure. Pressure is determined by the perpendicular force applied per unit area of a surface, a calculation that is determined through the use of different techniques and methods. The correct measurement of pressure is dependent on the reference the pressure reading is measured against. Pressure gauges are divided into hydrostatic and mechanical. Hydrostatic pressure Hydrostatic pressure is generated by the weight of a liquid above a measurement point when the liquid is at rest. The height of the liquid influences the hydrostatic pressure. Mechanical pressure Mechanical pressure is measured by a bellows, diaphragm or bourdon tube that converts fluid pressure into force. In the discussion of pressure, it is important to understand some of the pressure's other dynamics which are absolute, gauge, differential and atmospheric. Everyone is familiar with atmospheric pressure. It is discussed as part of weather reports. It is the pressure of the air around us. Absolute, differential and gauge pressure are methods for measuring pressure. Absolute pressure Absolute pressure is when pressure is measured relative to a vacuum. Gauge pressure Gauge pressure is the pressure relative to the atmospheric pressure. This form of pressure is positive when it is above atmospheric pressure and negative when it is below atmospheric pressure. Differential pressure Differential pressure measurement is measuring the difference between two types of applied pressure. This form of pressure measurement does not have a reference but measures the two applied pressures. Types of pressure gauges Absolute pressure gauge Absolute pressure gauges are used to measure pressure independent of the natural fluctuations in atmospheric pressure. A reference vacuum is attached to the side of the measuring element which is not subject to pressure it has zero pressure with no variation. A diaphragm separates the media chamber from the vacuum chamber and deforms into the vacuum chamber as pressure rises. The deformation and change are converted into a pressure value. Bellows pressure gauge The bellows in a bellows pressure gauge are made of thin-walled, springy metal connected tubes that form a shape similar to an accordion. This is sealed in the free end of the gauge. As pressure is applied, it acts on the bellows on the free end, causing it to expand and produce movement. Bellows pressure gauges are very sensitive and used for low pressure applications. Borden tube pressure gauge A Borden tube pressure gauge has an elastic tube that is soldered or welded on one end into a socket. A change in pressure causes a deflection in the tube, this is proportional to the applied pressure and is sent to a rotary gear with a pointer. The operating principle of a Borden pressure gauge is that a curved tube will straighten when pressure is applied, this is indicated by a dial or digital readout. Capsule pressure gauge a capsule pressure gauge has two thin concentric corrugated diaphragms that are sealed tightly together around their circumferences. One of the diaphragms has a hole in the center that allows the medium to enter. When pressure is applied, the diaphragms expand or contract. Diaphragm pressure gauge A diaphragm pressure gauge is elastic and becomes displaced when pressure is applied. This type of pressure gauge works on the same principle as a Borden pressure gauge but measures pressure using a diaphragm instead of a flexible tube. Differential pressure gauge Differential pressure gauges measure the difference between the pressure in two chambers that are separated by an element that moves back and forth according to the changes in pressure. The movement of the element 
causes a movement in the pointer on the gauge face or provides a digital display reading. Manometer Pressure Gauge Manometer pressure gauges measure pressure on a fluid by balancing one column of fluid against the second column of fluid. This type of pressure gauge is the simplest and consists of a transparent tube in the form of a U that is partially filled with a manometric fluid like mercury. Piezometer pressure gauge A piezometer is a type of manometer that is used to measure the medium pressure range of liquids. It is a simple glass tube that is open at both ends. One end is connected to a pipeline where the pressure of a fluid is to be measured while the other end is open to the atmosphere. 